Now, they say a race is not won on the first lap, but in this case, I have to say that we disagree. Right, starting from the back, yet again, we are in the Merc. I have no idea what it's like fuel saving. We got ourselves a podium on the last one. Can we do any better than P3 in this race? Zenith in. Zenith in P3. Was that a bit of wheel spin I had there? Please don't go below six. This is actually... Oh, we're going to have to fuel save so much in this car. Someone's already gone. That's one position. We just need another 14. Oh, dearie me. Oh, <laughs> someone's put it into the barrier. Oh. Go. Oh. <laughs> how, did we, how did we just drive past all that and still be in the same position? We lost places and we gained places. Right, we might be alright fuel saving on this then. Estimating it is that we've got 6.6 .6 laps of fuel left, but we'll keep a check on that. And we'll try and do a one stop. However, <gasps> what a wally. Too busy looking at the weather. Come on. Oh, someone else got past us for good measure. Right, normally on a six lap race, if you just ran wide on the corner like I did and the time that we've just lost, that'll be your race done. But, this is the Nürburgring, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so we're, not, we're literally not phased by the fact we've just put it off. As long as we don't do it again, we'll be alright. We had a four second penalty, we crashed three, four times in the last race, and yet we still finished five seconds off the lead or something like that. Either way, we got the podium, P3. Which way are you going to go, pal? There we go. Yeah, see, at this point here, the Supra is kind of well up to top speed. Especially in a slipstream, so the Merc struggles a little bit more. Oh, thank God for that uh, slight curb on the right-hand side there. Just stops us from going onto the grass. All right, here we go. We're catching up to the lunatics here. Oh, he's quit. Who would agree with me that we've been saying for a long time we want sort of four dailies. Why don't we have an A, B, C and then daily race, you know, a D, which is um, a sort of longer endurance race or something like that. Here's a suggestion. Why don't we just have three races and then just have the Nürburgring, which just stays there all the time. And every week it changes the class of car and everyone just loves that and then we're no longer bothered whether or not <laughs> there's a good daily race a b or c we just stay on this the whole the whole week every week all right 13 seconds to the lead now we had a nice slipstream off this guy luckily there's someone right in front of him also in the same car i think by the looks of it p1 must have served a penalty because we've just gained a second and a bit a second and a half to him which is actually Anton, who we were racing with in the previous race. Oh, 200 lap endurance race. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. We do have to do that at some point, no doubt about that. But I get like a high rush of dopamine when we're onto the last lap here. And I think, thank God for that, we're on to lap six, the last lap. <laughs> Can you imagine doing like 100 laps of the Nürburgring, right? You're like 13 hours into this race. And then you look and you go, yeah, I'm halfway there. Like, that is horrific. <laughs> Just waiting to get absolutely wiped out by this guy behind me there. Luckily, we do not. Really appreciate some new... Woo! Really appreciate plenty new faces uh, in the chat tonight, by the way. Really... Really thankful for that. Can we 
we go to the inside and have that? Yes, we can. Just close off that corner as early as we can. I mean, I, I obviously, I don't do this full time. I wish I could. I would love to at least experience this being a full time job for at least a week <laughs> before I probably got bored. But yeah. People probably don't realise as well the. Especially doing it as for YouTube, not competing and then making money from the competitions. Doing it as YouTube is a. That is two jobs in itself. You've got to be good at the game and the content, but then you've got to. How to do the editing, how to run YouTube, how to do all that other stuff, which you might not necessarily have really wanted to set out to do. But yeah, definitely interesting. Right, five and six, right in front of us. Two GTRs, I think. Right. Anyone want to give any updates in terms of predictions? Anyone want to change what they're thinking? Was anyone waiting to see how we got on the first few laps before they put their prediction in? Mind you, that's actually an M that's an M6 there in front of me, I think. If it was raining, I'd know that I'd have that position, because that car is very difficult in the rain, as we found out yesterday. Oh, yellow flag. Back to green flag. Oh no, that's not that's not a green flag. We got given the green flags there. There is someone literally parked on the track. That should not have been a green flag. Whoa. Yeah, uh, Jansen's coming into the pits now. <gasps> we've been hit, we've been hit, we've been hit, we've been hit, we've been hit. Right, see where Jansen comes out. He's still filling up fuel. He's going to come out alongside us again. Exact repeat of uh, the earlier race. Is he there? No, he's not. We're going to get past him just. Right, here we go. We're catching P4 here. It is indeed ZBMW. Little does he know what I need is slipstream. Or maybe he does know. He's took one look and thought, this guy's in the Merc. We absolutely desperately need his slipstream all the way down here. We're going to give him multiple bumps, I'm sure. To bump draft him. That's the first one. That's going to be the second one. And the third time round, we're going to try and get past him. Oh, no, we clip him again. <laughs> right, this time round, we're going to try and get past him. We fly past him in the straights. 180 miles an hour. Potentially, he's still having to do a bit of fuel saving there. Right, <gasps> P1. Who's this in the pits? A few people into the pits. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Uh, maybe P2. Yeah, I'm not so sure. That guy's 6.5. The gap. We'll keep a check, though. Right, we're heading on now. What is going to be the final lap of the Nürburgring? Final lap of the stream tonight as well. Look at this. The guy ahead, by the way. How is he so quick? 7.58. 7.58. Yeah, what a race this week. Absolutely tremendous combo this has been. Really, really good. Good challenge of fuel saving. Good challenge of strategy. Weather, rain, tyres. The race leader's coming into the pits. The race leader's coming into the pits. What a difference this makes to the race. We're going a little bit too deep into turn one. 9.4 to the lead. Now, that guy is very, very quick. I don't know if he's stayed out, if he's pitted or not. I have a feeling he must, he must have stayed out. And I'm going to really hope that he has to fuel save like crazy to make up for this final lap. But it looks like he's pushing on and absolutely flying. He must have done a no-stop because that race leader was so far up the lead. Look at this, 12.6. The guy is absolutely flown. I really don't know how he's managed to do that. Been so, so quick round here. We'll have to watch his replay because that is damn quick. If you go for the one-stop, 
you change tyres, you go ultra, ultra aggressive. You're pushing for six laps of the Nürburgring. And let's be fair, you're just so, so likely to bin it. Regardless of how good you are, six laps of the Nürburgring, I guarantee you make at least one big mistake. And if you put it in the wall round, yeah, you've so easily lost five, 10, 15 seconds. And that could be the difference that you're trying to claw back by doing that pit stop. P1 pit after lap four, did he? Right, I didn't notice that then. I was trying to work out whether he did or didn't. So he's obviously gone for the ultra aggressive strategy and been very, very quick. Fair play to him then. We're gonna cross the line about 14 seconds after him. An almighty run at the Nürburgring that. Very happy though. We got ourselves a P3, we got ourselves a P2. Tomorrow we need P1. All right, we just want to watch this race, P1 here, see what the... No way. Did this guy start in front of me? Or is that him there? No. He did, didn't he? That's him there. Unbelievable. How has he won the race from this position on the grid? We were, we were amongst all this, or just behind all this carnage. There's Janssen who we've raced previously in the race. Lomito, who was P1. So what's happened to the people who were actually P1? Like, I don't understand. Yeah, that was a nightmare there. He's been right behind that as well. Managed to somehow avoid it. So he has still had a bit of work to do. All of a sudden, he was up to P4. So he's had a really, really clean first lap, where if we remember, we did make a silly mistake, we drove off the track. Oh my... Oh my god. How has he done that? How has he done this? Look at this for an off-board, yeah. Look at this. Please cut. Oh, he's off the track. He's done... So, he's been so lucky to keep that on there. Wow. But look at that, he's up to P7. Is he going to get P6 yet? No. Yes, yes, because P6 runs off, so now he's got clean air. He's got Lomito in front, who ends up being P1. Janssen bins it. He's had a really, really clean first lap, and that's been the difference for him. We got caught up in a little bit here and there. We did make a stupid mistake, which was the main the main cost, by the way. Um, but he's had a really clean first lap, and they say the race hasn't won on lap one, but in this case, in this case, it absolutely was. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe for future videos, future episodes, and more content just like this. And while you're down there, make sure you check out our description for links to our merch store to get hold of awesome t-shirts just like this one. Any orders on the merch store goes a long, long way to supporting channels just like this. I also think the t-shirts look pretty cool, so make sure you grab what you can, and I shall see you in the next episode.